tonight. From CenturyLink Field in Seattle, Washington. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks versus Cam Newton and the New England Patriots. It is a sound like no other when they raise that 12th man flag here in Seattle. We just heard it and that means it's time for football at Century Link Field. This crowd as we've come to expect in recent years as loud as any in the NFL and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with the New England Patriots. Sports on the return, it's Taylor. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Cam Newton bringing out the offense here for New England. The 1 0 New England Patriots. And going into that week one game, Cam Newton said that his excitement level for the start was on a thousand. And a reporter asked him if he would have butterflies, Charles. He said, I don't get butterflies, I give them. <laughs> Is that such a typical Cam answer? So quotable, and that one was actually fun. He ended up 15 and 19 throwing the football, 165 yards. Very efficient that way, no touchdown passes, but better yet, no interceptions. And you mentioned the rushing yardage. The last time we saw a Patriots quarterback rush like that, we're going all the way back when they were running some option football. And I think Steve Grogan was the quarterback of that team. So let's go ahead and watch this offense develop and evolve with Cam Newton running it in New England. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. First down, Newton. Forced out to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. So an instance there of Cam being Cam. We know he can use his legs. And with that big body, it's hard to get him down, even if you get a clear shot on him. Plus, he moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, here's Newton. Slant route, caught by Edelman. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. First down. And there's a catch there by Julian Edelman. And I know the conversation is very big on how much will he miss Tom Brady. But Edelman's one of the top slot receivers in the league and an uber competitor. He's going to miss his friend, but he wants to show the rest of the league that his skills transfer no matter who's throwing him the football. Here go, here go. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, Newton. Open man is Asiasi, the tight end. And he's able to work it here to the eight yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. 
And that'll make it second and a foot or so. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they look at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Only gets a yard, but it's enough to set him up first and goal. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. So first and goal now from the seven-yard line. Now Newton. This is caught. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. We're still in the first quarter, but it's apparent they're going to have to come up with a different defensive game plan for him because right now he's kind of having his way against that defense and has added a touchdown to the list. How do you slow him down? They're going to have to mix up some coverages, maybe change who's guarding him. Nick, Nick Folk for the point after. He gets it to make it 7 nothing Patriots. So that drives seven plays in length, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. touchdown fielded just outside the goal line and he won't quite make it to the 25 take over first now now comes Russell Wilson in season number nine six-time pro bowler as he gets set to lead this Seahawks offense. Whenever you think about the Seattle Seahawks one of the first things that pops to mind is how well they run the football and how much they like doing it but you have to also look at how well Russell Wilson has played at the quarterback spot. Hasn't just been a game manager. Last year, over 4,100 yards passing, the second most in his career. 31 touchdown passes and took care of the ball as well because he threw just five interceptions. If you need to open things up, Russell Wilson can get it done. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 24. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain on the carry. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They run it with Carson, and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Jonathan. Well, the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs. They'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit them over the top. So now at third and seven, and defensively, it's a dime look. Six DBs. From the gun, it's Wilson. And able to find Dorsett. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Eight yards, first down as they're able to convert. 
first. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? First down, Seattle, 16 yards the game there. Greg Olson was a big-time pickup for the Seattle Seahawks in the offseason. He spent the last nine seasons with Carolina as an all-pro, Pro Bowl tight end and did the same thing before that with the Chicago Bears. Now he moves to the Northwest and gives Russell Wilson a big-time target in the middle of the field. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. From the shotgun, Wilson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. This throw complete. Wilson finding Lockett. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Wilson will throw again, and he finds a man. It's Olsen, and he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Two veterans there, Wilson to Olsen for a Seattle first down. That throw is not going to get them a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. We, and you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To throw again is Wilson. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. If I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. On first down, Carson. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Nine-yard line. Nine-yard line, second and six. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Here's Wilson. They'll run the screen with Carson. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen.
Pete Carroll, no stranger to rolling the dice. He'll roll it again. Fourth down, they're going for it. They run for it with Carson. And this is going to come up well short as they stop him on fourth down. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. Well, I guess they wanted to get that touchdown right back on their first drive, but failed to do so. And what they have to be careful of is pushing so hard to stay right there, to stay even with their opponent, that they gas themselves out. You know, it's almost like horse racing. Sometimes you don't want to take your horse right to the front and let them do all the work, and then someone catch them at the end and pass them up. You want to make sure you moderate what you're doing along the way and then go for the big finish. Play fake to Michelle, now Newton. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. A good pick up there, 22. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. A give, this is Michelle. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. At well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. Call it a gain of three. And just like that, it's third down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. Out of the gun, Newton. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, We'll call this play significant. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. They'll run with a former Super Bowl hero. It's James White. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. It's a big plays in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. A shotgun snap for Newton. He's got a man complete. It's Julian Edelman. That catch good for only a couple. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or? Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Operating from the gun. Newton throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, and now it's third down. Third 
A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. To throw is Newton. And this is going to be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Now the second-year punter, Jake Bailey, on for New England. The Seahawks have David Moore back deep. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Back out now come the 1-0 Seattle Seahawks as they beat the Falcons in week one. Charles, 38-25, that game was in Atlanta. Russell Wilson continuing to play at the top of his game. Only had four incompletions, 31-35, over 300 yards. Four touchdown passes, no picks, and guess what? He also led the team in rushing, and then he flew the flight back home to Seattle. <laughs> Is there anything that was left that he didn't do in this game? I mean, it was unbelievable. Jamal Adams was a force on defense. You remember the big trade that brought him over? Maybe the next game, Russell Wilson would play safety next to him just to go ahead and do a few extra things. A phenomenal job by him, phenomenal job by Seattle. And for me, it really fit. Remember the fourth and five when they went for it? They threw the bomb to DK Metcalf for a touchdown. This Seattle Seahawks team, they're very confident, strong, and they've got a huge game in week two. Their home opener on a Sunday night, Cam Newton and the Patriots are coming to town. That first down completion only netted them three. Second and seven. From the gun, Wilson. He finds Dorsett. It's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. First and 10 at the 47 yard line. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Patriots seven, Seahawks nothing. It's Carson, and he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. On second down now, it's Carson. And he's taken down inside the 30. 16 yards, a first down. And that's good. Good game by Chris Carson. Picks up a first down, and you just have to love his running style. Talk about a straight-ahead guy, no-nonsense type of a runner. He's averaged 82 yards a game over the last two seasons and had 1,230 yards on the ground in 2019. First down, Carson. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And rode him right out of bounds. On second down, it's Carson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 16 yards, a first down. Take, take, take. 
Chris Carson has proven to be a workhorse for the Seattle Seahawks, and they continue to expand his game. We know that he can run inside and be a bruising type of a player, but he has surprising speed to the perimeter, and they've expanded his game now by throwing it to him out of the backfield. In 2019, in the top 10 in the league in touches and yards from scrimmage. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll run on first down. Carson. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. Second and six with the ball on the seven. Now the rookie out of Miami. This is DJ Dallas. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. Take this one in for a Seattle touchdown. Russell Wilson keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Seahawks just an extra point away from tying this thing up. Well, there's a sight that fans were used to seeing a little bit more earlier in his career. Just three rushing touchdowns last year for Russell Wilson. He's had as many as six in a season. I think he's a lot more selective, a little more judicious about running the football now but still scares the heck out of any defense when he decides to tuck it and go. Jason Myers now for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it was Russell Wilson finishing things off with a touchdown run. So only even at seven now as they kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Back out, here comes the New England Patriots on the offensive side. And a week one victory for them, 21 to 11 over Miami, a division win. You know, 2019, of course, that brought an end to the Patriots era with one MVP QB. 2020, they begin a new one with another MVP signal caller in Cam Newton. And, and plenty of questions about him on the Patriots, but we're starting to see some answers because, hey, did you ever think, uh, definitely not with Tom Brady there, you would say that a quarterback would lead the Patriots in rushing in a game, but that's what Cam did, 75 yards on 15 carries in that opener against Miami. Yeah, not only that, you have a New England team who's lost a lot of top players on defense, yet they held Miami in check the entire ball game. So you put Cam Newton on offense, big change there. A lot of defensive stars not there anymore, yet the guys who filled in played well for them. A vintage New England team. Just when you think you've got them, they look like they've got you. How about the schedule, though? Going to Seattle. Well, the ball is out. Michelle lost it. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. 
they may have the edge on the scoreboard, but that hasn't made them pass it, has it? I mean, they've come, they dialed up a pretty good run blitz there. And, and, and Brandon, you know that all blitzes aren't just designed to get to the quarterback and the passer. Sometimes you're just trying to take away every gap, every hole that might be created in a running game, and they did it to perfection and caused a fumble there. Took away the gaps, took away the holes, took away the football. down. It's Carson and down inside the 15 shy of the 10. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. When he runs he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole and then when the hole is there he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. First and 10 at the 11. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. That's complete right around the eight. And he'll be brought down this time at the five yard line. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the five, second and four. Here's Carson, and he's across the chalk, into the end zone, touchdown Seahawks. A five-yard touchdown run, and the Seahawks have taken the lead. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Now Myers for the extra point. Got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And it was all capped off by the Chris Carson touchdown run. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Offense marching back onto the field, and our focus shifts here to Sony Michelle. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement. Down on the scoreboard, maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? Cam going to bring the Patriots up now, first and 10 at their own 24. <laughs> Off play action, he'll throw to start the drive. Gets this into the hands of Nikhil Harry. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. And they'll continue to look for more catches like that from Nikhil Harry. He was New England's first pick in the 2019 draft. Had a disappointing rookie season, though. Only 12 catches for 105 yards and just two touchdowns. With his talent and his potential, this team needs him to step up. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Operating from the gun. Newton, catch is made by Harry. 
And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They defer to White out of the shotgun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. From the gun, Newton looking for Edelman, and he hits him. It's complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. There's a nice catch there by Julian Edelman, and he's going to be a reliable target no matter who's playing quarterback. Topped 1,000 yards receiving for the third time last season. I just love his story. College quarterback to one of the top slot receivers in the NFL. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. This from 42 yards out. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. Patriots 10. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no wind, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Taken in at the three. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. First and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Chris Carson trotting back out there. It may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books, but it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means line. he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 27. Out of the gun, he'll throw. Sliding out of the pocket. Now he'll pull it down. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. On second down now, it's Carson. Seven yards there and a first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Let's go. 
Now it's Carson. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Take Two yards down. on the carry there. It'll be second down. Two yards on the Well, any lane that might have been open game there game was game. closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Second and eight. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. It's caught, lock it. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Four yards on the completion and it sets up a third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. The Seahawks on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and four. Operating from the gun, Wilson. And they've got the hookup. This is Olsen. And he's got another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Patriots' 34-yard line. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. They don't need to run another play here before the two minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On first down, Wilson. This complete to Lockett. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he's got another first down as the tackle's gonna be made at the Patriots' 15-yard line. A gain of 13, it's a first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. Rolling to his right, and he's gonna keep it here. And he'll be brought down this time at the five yard line. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. His pass caught at the four. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Chris Carson, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. CD it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. It's good, and it's 21-10. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Time to speak of remaining in his first half as the kicks away. 
On the return, it's Taylor. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Cam Newton and the Patriots set to go again on offense. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure that his team sees him as confident. Continue to try and up his game, but just let him know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me, we'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. And he's got Edelman on the out route. That's complete. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. From the gun, here's Newton. It's complete. James White. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, Newton. It's caught. This is White. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back. Let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. To throw again on second down, Newton. He's got White here. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. Again, Newton. Open man is Myers. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. So we are at halftime here in downtown Seattle with the Seahawks out in front. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports halftime report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. as the second half is underway. Taken in the end zone. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Seattle again getting ready to take over offensively. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. 
Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He gives it off to Carson, and not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Chris Carson, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Well, those two have hooked up for a touchdown once already in this game, that time unable to find the completion. Yeah, it just appeared they wanted to get him out into open space and try and get him the football. As you mentioned, unable to connect. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. There's Wilson to throw. They'll run the screen with Carson. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. The screen does get a nine, but it also brings up a fourth down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Michael Dixon, and the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Here's Bird to return. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return, and the Patriots take over. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And Charles, they trail by a couple of scores, but if they could put a good drive together here, it'd go a long way toward getting them back in this football game. And if you're looking at a checklist of things that they need to do in the second half, job number one was getting a stop, wasn't it? So big check right there. Now they want to see if their offense can build on that momentum. Newton and the Patriots with a first and 10 at about the 32. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six at the 36-yard line. Six yards left on second down. Operating from the gun. Newton, that's complete into the hands of Myers. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Seven yards there and a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here's second and 10. And it's Michelle once again. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down from the gun Newton and that is incomplete it certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully the Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time
Returning it is Moore. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. And out comes Chris Carson in the Seattle offense. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him, maybe the guys up front combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. They had blocked so well in the first half, picked up on what the defense was doing. I think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on, and now they're being a little bit overwhelmed. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. Three yards the game there, second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter, it's a good running back dive play. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Throwing is Wilson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the all-pro Stephon Gilmore. And he will score. Touchdown, Patriots. So Stephon Gilmore, an all-pro defensive player of the year in 2019, had his first career pick six a season ago, and he delivers another one here. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. Now following the interception, here's Newton. Pressure comes, he's taken down by the Seahawk defense. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Well, yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover. You take it away. They stuck it in the end zone. Keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken in at the three. A solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. They're on 32-yard line. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at about the 32. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Ball at the 33, second and nine. Gun. Here's Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Yeah, 
Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Dorsett making the catch. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. And officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. One thing about the Seattle Seahawks offense, they are a run-first group, but when they throw the ball, they want to throw it downfield and sting defenses. And Philip Dorsett provides great speed and a good target downfield in order to get that done. Nice catch there. His speed adds an extra dimension to the Seahawks offense. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, it's Wilson. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Philip Dorsett, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Similar to a shooter in basketball, just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. Second and 10. Throwing again, Wilson. They'll try and set up the screen, it's complete. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Throwing again here, Wilson. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 22-yard line. Wilson to Metcalf that time. First down, Seattle. What a great rookie campaign in 2019 for DK Metcalf, who came in with high expectations, was actually upset that he went in the second round, not the first round, but quickly proved everyone wrong who didn't take him prior. 900 yards receiving, seven touchdowns, and looks exactly like a Seattle Seahawks receiver is supposed to look. Big, strong, physical, and catches all the contested passes downfield. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. On the delay, here's Carson. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Now a first and 10 at the 11. This is Carson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Here's second and two now from the three. To throw is Wilson. And the tight end, Olsen, right side. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. From three yards out. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or put them on the ropes because it was jam, jam. Jeff, and finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. The extra point now coming from Myers. 
And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it all culminates with a Seattle score. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. On the return, it's Taylor. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. At their own 26-yard line. New England trying to get to place on offense. Patriots up now, first and 10 at their own 26. Out of the gun, he'll throw. And the Seahawks defense gets to him and they bring him down. Vincent Mayoa in there to get him. It's a loss of five. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football. Led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Still 15 yards to go, second down. A shotgun snap for Newton. That's complete to White. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. James White. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Throwing on third down, Newton. Looking deep downfield, and that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for them. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. So possession goes over here on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. And Charles, you'd have to think this is where you want to start taking some time off the clock. Oh, definitely, because you got the lead, right? You take a good look up there and you say, okay, what do we need to do here? Well, you're not in full out protect mode. You want to make sure you run it, throw it safe, take some time off and eat it up. Wilson of the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their 25 yard line. They'll indeed run here right off the bat. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. So from the 36 now, first and 10. I got you. 51 to I'm gonna run you over. I'm gonna run They run again with Carson. 
Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brings up yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And finally taken down at the 35-yard line. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had a big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. on first down and they've got the hookup this is Olsen and brought down but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7 another nice gain 13 yards that time and another first down good for another Seahawks first and goal at the 7 yard line One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. From the shotgun, Wilson, he'll buy some time right. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the numbers. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. That time, a six-play drive. And it was Russell Wilson finishing things off with a touchdown run. the touchdown. Here's Myers to boot it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. First and 10 at their own 22-yard line. 
Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Newton and the Patriots with a first and 10 at their own 22. And he'll throw right away. This is White on the screen. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now Newton. That's to his running back, Sony Michel. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a first down on a gain of 10. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down. Let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Looking to throw again on second down. Newton looking for Edelman, and he hits him. It's complete. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 38-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. 50, 50. Here's Newton. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. Jaron Reed muscles his way in for the sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Newton to throw. He's going to have the hook up to Izzo. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. New England on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and 11. Out of the gun, Newton. Got his man, that's Harry. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 18. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, 
you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, Newton. Open man is Asiasi, the tight end. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Back-to-back -to -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Throwing again is Newton. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Ryan Izzo there to make the grab. And the Patriots get a score closer. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. And he finds himself open for an easy touchdown. On for the extra point is Folk. And they're able to cut the deficit to 12. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends with a New England touchdown. 23. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Chris Carson trotting back out there. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Operating from the gun, Wilson. He finds his man, the tight end Olson. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. They'll roll him out right. He's going to take off with it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Now, that was a whole lot of open space out in front of him, wasn't it? I'm telling you, Brandon, when things are going right, they are going right. And everything has been going their way for the most part. I saw that lane start to develop. Boom, he took advantage of it. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Now a give right side. Carson, and he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. The corner, Stephon Gilmore on the stop. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Uh, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. 
And the Seahawks on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and five. Throwing is Wilson. They'll run the screen with Carson. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. Now here's Michael, Michael Dixon, Dixon as he'll kick it away for the second time. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Over first and ten at their own now the Patriot offense set to take over again. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. Cam going to bring the Patriots up now, first and 10 at their own 23. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. He was looking for Julian Edelman that time. And it's second down. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Back to the air, Newton on second down. Trying for Edelman again, this time he's got it. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Defense was thinking run in their delta pass of just under 20 yards. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. To the air again, Newton. He'll fight his tight end here, Asi Asi. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. It's a gain of eight. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Again, Newton. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. The 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. And, and with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. Well, the ball is out. Michelle lost it. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one, 
that puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drop. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they sit in a good spot, having the ball back after the fumble recovery and up two scores in the fourth quarter. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Right back to him on first down. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and two. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. third down it's Carson and they'll get him down about three yards short of the first the Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for Seattle A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Pats will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. So Newton and the Patriots down by 12. Just over a minute, 40 to play. Field goals, useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. First down, Newton. It's complete, James White. And a short three-yard pickup gets him up to the 15. Short play like that in this situation, this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. Here's a quick hitch route, and the throw complete. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Now a first down throw for Newton. 
It's caught. This is White. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Complete to James. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Seahawks here as we say so long from Seattle.